Wow, look at these steps. It's changing colors. The cheapest one? You can play with 10 Japanese yen. I have to break this cookie castle over here. No. Ryan's TV. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Sen. Come on. Well, today I'm in Namba Station, Dotonbori. You see, this is the Dotonbori food street. In this video, I'm gonna try to explain how to get to the American Mura, which is the American village. Well, if you wanna know how to get to Dotonbori, please check my other video. All right, so let's go to check the American Mura, which is the American village. Let's go. Firstly, you have to cross the Ebisubashi, which is one of the popular picture spot. As you see, so many people taking a picture. That's Greco Running Man, which is one of the most popular Osaka symbol. So, if you visit here, don't forget to take a picture with him. Now, we are heading to North Perth of Nama Station, which is closer to Shinsaibashi Station. So, if you are coming from North Perth of Osaka, maybe you can get off the train from Shinsaibashi Station. However, it is not that far distance, so you can definitely walk from Namba Station as well. Also, there are many stores and restaurants in the arcade. So if you are the first time visitor, for sure you can have fun time when you walk to America Mura from Namba Station. Speaking of Shinsaibashi Station area, there are many stores, but less amusement spot compared to Namba area. So, if you are looking for some fun places, I recommend you to walk around Namba Station area. When you see the Disney store right side, you are almost there. Alright, so when you see the Disney store, on the first corner, you have to turn left. That's what you gotta do. Oh. By the way, you will find the Pablo restaurant. This cheese tart is so good. Yep, so if you're hungry, maybe you can grab that. Well, I haven't made a video yet, but definitely I will. So look forward to it. All right, so let's keep going. You will find the Apple store right side, then you are on the right track. So just cross the street. Alright, when you see this artistic lamp, I think that's a human or I don't know, some art, whatever it is. Yeah, when you see that lamp over there, that's the entrance of the American village. Well, if you want to know more about the American village, then uh, please check my other videos. Well, the last time when I visited here, I found an interesting place which I want to introduce as well. So let's check together. It's in the Big Step, which is a super popular shopping center in the American village. All right, so let's go to check. The Big Step, located in the center of the American village, there used to be a junior high school, but now it became a shopping mall. Alright, so I arrived to the big step, which is a kind of like shopping mall in American Village. I think that's in the third floor. Wow, look at this. <laughs> that's cool, right? There is a Starbucks over there, so you can grab the coffee. Okay, so uh, let's go to check then. Wow, look at these steps. It's changing colors. It's really bright. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Yes. Well, actually, this America Mura is a kind of like young generation's culture place. Well, so that's why, you know, if you want to find some fashionable people in Osaka, maybe this place is going to be interesting for you. All right, so let's go.
<laughs> Look at that. I don't know what it is, but I think that it's kind of like an American blood symbol or something. I know that they pray for the love and peace. Well, yes, I think it's coming from the hippie American culture. All right, so let's keep walking. Come on. Here we go. This is the place I was talking about. It's a huge floor, but everything is only 100 Japanese yen. And the cheapest one, you can play with 10 Japanese yen. It's amazing, isn't it? All right, so let's explore the inside. <laughs> there are just so many pinballs, so I don't know which one to play, but the Super Mario one looks pretty good, so let me play that. It's only 100 Japanese yen to play. I'm not really good at the pinballs, but let me try that. There are 10 Japanese yen pinballs, but firstly, I want to try this. Right, so it seems like I have to break this Koopa Castle over here. Alright, let's see if I can break it. Let's do it. Eat the bomb. I gotta get it done. Well, you know what? Since I have to hold my cam by one hand, so I have to play by one hand. <laughs> that was so hard. Because of that, I can play well. So let me place my cam and then play it this time for Sega 3, okay? Let me try that. It's the bomb. It's the bomb. Oh. Well, either way, I'm stuck at this. Huh. It's much harder than what I thought. Well, look at this one over here. This one, you can play with only 10 cent, which is, I think it's pretty cheap. All right, so let me try it. Let's do it. Oh. Alright, one more shot. almost impossible to play by one hand. All right, so, yep. How is it? Well, there are several other pinballs which you can play 10 cent as well. And, and except the 10 Japanese yen one, you can play with 100 Japanese yen, which is pretty cheap. So that was the pinball for on it. It was kind of fun, but pretty tough. Well, but then I'm really not good at it. Well, so if you can visit Osaka and then 
you visit the American village, maybe you can try this pinball planet as well. This place interesting. And then, especially, you can play from 10 cents, which is, I think, pretty cheap. All right, so this video pretty much that's it. Hope you liked the video. Oh, by the way, I have an Instagram account. I usually post daily Japanese life and Japanese food. So if you are interested in me or Japanese food, please follow my Instagram account as well. All right, so this video pretty much that's it. Hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription really encourages me to take the next video. Oh, and please thumbs up as well. All right, so thank you very much. Arigato. So bye bye.